So use of maths 2015. Question one, critical path. It's only a five mark question. We just have to do the network and fill in the early and late times. So we'll start with our boxes and use this to work out where they go. So if we have box A, nothing's going to depend on that. Um, B depends on A. So let's have B here. I'll fill in the labels in a minute. C depends on A. So we'll do C there. D depends on B. So let's put D there. E depends on D, so E would go there. F depends on C, so F will end up there. G depends on E. H depends on F. I depends on both G and H. So when we fill in our lines, we'll make sure oops, we'll make sure that we have um, we'll make sure that we have two lines going into that one. Um, and then it's going to branch out again. So J depends on I, K depends on I, and then both J and K depend on L. So it'll branch out and then branch back in again as it goes along. So we'll fill in our labels. Middle box has got the durations in that each one's going to take. Um, and then working along, so we want to fill in our early time. So our early time, we want to... Um, start everything as early as possible. So A is going to start at time naught. Takes one minute, so that means that B and C can both start at time one. Um, B takes half a minute, so one and a half. D can start at 1.5. It takes six, so that means F can start at 7.5. Takes two, so G can start at 9.5. Takes two. So I could start at 11.5, but we don't want to fill that one in yet because we want to check that it's going to be the latest time from both G and H. So F, um, C starts at 1, last 3, so F can start at 4. Starts at 4, last 3, H can start at 7. Starts at 7, takes 4, so I can start at 11. So we've got a choice of I starting at 11.5 from this one. I starting at 11 from this one. Going forwards, we have to make sure that each activity is finished. So G won't be finished at 11.5. H will be finished at 11. So they're both finished at 11.5. So going forwards, we want to take the biggest number. So going forwards, we want to take the biggest number. Okay, keep going. So 11.5 plus 5 at 16.5. Left a lot of room for this question. Uh, this one's 16.5, and again, we've got a choice again coming this way. So, we want to take the biggest number. So, 60.5 plus 0.5 will be 17. 16.5 plus 1, that will be 17.5. So, we want the biggest possible one going that way. And now we want to do the same thing in reverse. So, we want the late time. So, if this started at 17.5, lasted for 1, it would be over with by 18.5. So if it end, needs to end at 18.5 and it took one minute, it, these two would need to have ended at 17.5. Uh, 17.5 took half a minute, so that would be ended by 17. 17.5 took one minute, this would be ending by 16.5. So we need to make sure this time that this activity is ended in time for both of these to be complete. So if this had ended at 17 and then this took one, this would push this to 18. So instead, when we go backwards, we want to pick the smallest number. So we've got our choice 17.5 minus 1, 17.5 minus 0.5. So it's going to be the minus 1, which makes this 16.5. Okay, minus a 5, so we've got 11.5. It's quite straightforward from here because there's no choices. Minus a 2, 9.5. Minus the 2, 7.5. Minus a 6, 1.5. And then along the bottom, uh, minus a 5, 11.5. Minus the 4, uh, 7.5, and minus the 3, 4.5. So the marks are awarded. You're going to get two marks for the diagram. So making sure that you've got all the, um, one, two, making sure that you've got all the um, activities in the right place. You've got two going into I, two going out of I, and then two going into L. And then you've got three marks for filling in the numbers. So one mark for doing some kind of adding. 
Uh, one mark for getting all the early times correct. So if you've got 17.5 here, you'll get that mark. And then the third mark, and it's a follow through mark, for getting all the late times correct. So if they follow through and all the right hand boxes are correct, you're going to get your third mark. Question doesn't want anything else. It doesn't want you to list a critical path. It, it just wanted that. But it's always worth checking that there is a critical path because there always will be one for um, critical path analysis. And if there's not one, you've done something wrong. So in this case here, 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 plus 1.5 is 1.5, 1.5 plus 6 is 7.5, 7.5 plus 2 9.5, plus 2 11.5, etc. That works, that works, that works. So there is a critical path, so the chances are we've done it right.